How long have you known James Yorwood? I would say going on two years now. And where did you first meet? I recall very clearly it was my first day at the center. The center being? The Primrose Center. Can you tell me what it was that brought you to the center? Yes, I can. I was working as a part-time sex trade worker. You mean you were um, a prostitute? Yes, that's correct. But now, as an advocate, I prefer the other description. Of course. Can you um, tell us a little bit about yourself? Grew up in the Sioux. Um, I had to leave home when I was 14 because of sexual abuse issues. And I didn't have, I didn't complete my high school, I mean secondary school diploma. And it was hard to find a job. So I just kind of drifted into it to feed myself. I'd become a heroin addict. And there was alcohol abuse. My mother was an alcoholic. And all the money I was making from the sex trade was going to feed my pernicious addictions. And I just had to turn my life around. Hmm. And you've been clean and sober for how long? For 16 months. So tell me, how did you meet James Yearwood? Well, I, actually, I recall very clearly. It was about 2 a.m and I just decided I had to turn my life around. So I made my first visit to the clinic and James was the first person I spoke to. And he was so helpful and kind and it was like he took a personal interest in me. So you knew James um, from his work at the clinic. When did your um, relationship change? Hmm. We'll have a warning about graphic material, so, sure. Use your own words. Okay. Well, actually, I recall very clearly, it was the first time in a long time that someone had been nice to me and not asked me for anything. So we just, we just up there that first night. So this is the first night you met? That's correct. And this took place at the center? Yes, that's correct. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>